I'd like to now introduce the Alpha Stream winner. They are a team of University of North Georgia from University of North Georgia. They come from United States. So today we wanted to talk about combating disinformation specifically for the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. We sought to do this with a primary objective, which was instilling a NATO funded satellite that would provide internet. Specifically, we sought to have the Ukrainian forces on the front lines utilize this service so that they could prevent uh, any spillage of conflict into neighboring NATO nations. Um, as well, we wanted Ukrainian civilians to have access to the internet to disseminate correct and up-to-date information. Um, and contact their Russian counterparts, their families and friends to give them insight um, as to what is actually going on in the current situation. Secondarily, we wanted to have NATO collaborate with private corporations to enact VPNs for free for Russian civilians. We wanted them to be able to have access to all forms of social media and the internet where they could gain access to the accurate and up-to-date information away from the media ran by the Kremlin. We sought to do this uh, underneath the NATO uh, Diana Fund. This provides 1 billion euros, and we were uh, hoping that this funding would uh, entail the satellites that we needed, and as well, it would pool the researchers and technicians within this fund to help set up this satellite and these VPNs. We figured that because there is uh, such a large uh, threat of cybersecurity, that nations would have such a large turnaround that they would want to fund this. Primarily, the United States, as an example, spent $15.6 billion on cybersecurity in a fiscal year. So there would be a large turnaround for them if they were to implement this widespread satellite technology. We believed that with this turnaround, we would see in about six months a satellite being operational, as well as these VPNs. And these VPNs would be very secure, as VPNs are notoriously popular for their widespread security. We really just wanted to implement more forms of technology, which we've seen in the modern age, really do benefit the spread of information and a global stage wherein civilians can communicate and have an open dialogue. With this, the satellite is going to have long-term benefits as NATO members can use this for as many years as they deem um, operational. And this can help them in the case of cybersecurity attacks from Russia or other warring nations. So we see that this has long-term benefits for NATO countries and civilians worldwide to have this technology and internet access available to them. We think with disinformation as a trend, it can easily be bought by the widespread internet access and the conversation that comes with these innovative uh, technologies that are now available to us. Thank you.